board this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign and we are now cleared for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we have live launch liftoff. Good morning everybody, welcome to Hunky Dory TV um, and obviously the clue was in the picture there, we have our lovely Hunky Dory uh, airline airplane taking off which only means one thing that today we have a live launch so welcome on board with us here on our hunky dory aircraft um i'm not alone obviously um it would be pointless flying solo um so today mm -hmm. i have a couple of members of crew with me first of all we have um emily who's actually flying us today she's responsible for any turbulence we hit she is responsible for <laughs> so say hello to Emily. It's going to be a smooth ride today. There we go. There we go. This is There's good to going know. to be no turbulence. <laughs> this is good. To um, know. Emily assures us it's going to be a smooth flight, and of course, um, helping me to dish out um, products. We're not going to be giving you. Well, we are going to be giving you some tea on this uh, tea and cake on this flight, but we're also going, going to be giving you some great products as well. So um, my co-pilot. Even though I'm not piloting, I'm actually a captain. I'm just going to strut up and down the aisles today with a trolley full of products. But with us today is lovely Natalie, fresh from Create Craft at the weekend. Hello, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to our flight. We will make sure you are thoroughly entertained throughout. <laughs> <laughs> well, as um, we just said, our um, in flight entertainment on board today is um, our terrific. Oh, tea time collection, which you might have seen Natalie showing on Create and Craft on Saturday. Um, and so we've got it for you today here so you can have a bit more of an in-depth look at it. And um, hopefully you will be inspired by what Natalie does with it. And it will encourage you to perhaps make a little purchase and then you can craft away um, with this beautiful kit. But we have a couple of reminders first about, firstly, about our Black Friday deals. If you go on to hunkydorycraft.co.uk, you will be able to see um, all of our Black Friday deals. Some of the products have sold out, some are still available. You'll see at the top of the um, website, there are three black boxes. It says week one, week two, week three. We've got different products in, uh, in the, all three boxes. So have a rummage on there and see if there's anything that you uh, would like to treat yourself to. There's some great deals, particularly um, as we showed you today, some of our work for the love of stamp sets, um, some of those are down to like two ninety nine, one ninety nine. So have a look on on the website and grab those while they're at a good price. Um, every order placed during our Black Friday event um, will go into our prize draw to win our huge giveaway, which we've got here on the screen. Now, if you've um, not uh, tuned in up to now you will be wondering what on earth this is all about so we've got a thousand pounds worth of goodies here to um, send out we're going to have a main winner and we're going to have two runners up the two runners up will win 250 pounds worth of product that is on the top shelf that you can see here and the second shelf so in here we have uh, decollage we have moonstone dies we have a little bit we have diamond sparkle gemstones we've got some of our eastern wishes in here we've got a multitude some stamps as well um, some of our more recent stamps so it's a really really lovely prize as a runner-up however we are going to have one winner who will win all of that plus what you can see on the bottom row as well so in there we have um bohemian bliss we have our little uh, decoupage books in there we have our pop top pads we have peony promise we have, um, and that's the full set, including the stamp and the die set. And then we have some little books as well. So it's a massive, massive box full Huge. of goodies, which could be coming to you. And all we need you to do is just buy something. It doesn't matter whether it's £50, whether it costs £2, anything from our website, and you'll be entered into that draw. What could be easier and um 
this this is going to be a great prize a wing in its way to someone um also our win it weekly competition we launch these every monday and that puts you in with a chance of winning our midnight botanica kit and this is printed onto our Miri magic so it's got that beautiful reflection it's a lovely kit when this came out do you remember natalie when oh we went gosh. into the meeting room because yes. this was i think this was pre-covid we went into the meeting room and we actually looked at these we picked up the sheets didn't we they were yeah. huge they come in on big big like a1 sheets and we picked them up and we looked at them and we're like oh look at the clothes on that oh look it's at the petals so, on that flower it's such a beautiful kit it's a it? lovely lovely kit the so are amazing inside it as well because they're also yeah. rich the tones are really rich but then you get that nice shimmery effect and yeah then, then it's all in miri so it's all reflective and magical it is it's beautiful. very beautiful and the yellows on the flowers and the whites they really really pop out and um, so we will have four winners um, the winners will be announced on friday as usual um we need to give you the question though so we were talking about this yesterday. We were having a bit of a laugh about it because I have no idea what this, um, what the answer is. How long is New Zealand's 90 mile beach? Is it A, 55 miles, B, 72 miles, or C, 100 miles? Um, I, have, I have no idea and I can't understand. There must be a reason why it's called 90 mile beach, but it's not actually 90 miles long unless it used to be. I have no idea. Um, I'm not the best on geography. So, um, but if you would like to um, like, share and comment on our video with the answer today, um, we will put you in. You'll be in with the chance of winning this beautiful kit, the Midnight Botanica. And the winners, all four of you, will be announced on Friday's show. So, what we need to um, also tell you as well about our um, big competition that we've got going on with this whole thousand uh, pounds worth of products here, we will be announcing the winner for this actually on Black Friday. Originally, we said it was going to be Cyber Monday, but we've just brought it back a little bit. We thought it was better to do it on actual yes. Black Friday. Um, and obviously, we've got um, a special guest on Friday. So, Ooh. I'm guessing that that will be Has a, a special nice been revealed um oh, no it hasn't this is so exciting it hasn't Pe i think surprise. people were guessing and I had an idea love a surprise. um but yes it will be announced on friday um so obviously if you want to be with the chance of winning that get your orders uh, on the website placed before friday if uh, you can, because the winner will be announced, winners will be announced then on Friday. So we would like you now to um, sit back, relax, and let's take a look at our brand new launch. Natalie was just uh, enjoying her last minute bit of tea there in a cup. <laughs> Natalie loves tea, but she um, she loves it cold as well. She loves cold I tea. Love so cold tea. She very oh. often just, she'll leave a tea, she'll make it. You go, Natalie, have you drunk your tea? No, 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 no. And she leaves I it till it's cold. And she love loves cold it tea. cold. It was She's funny. Weird. When, um, <laughs> when me and Dan first started um, going out, I remember I stayed over at his house once and he made me a brew to go to bed with. Yeah. And he was like, you're not going to drink all of that? I was like, no. He was like, what are you doing with it? I just left it on the bedside table. I was like, I'm saving it till the morning. And he was oh. like, what are you doing? I was like, I love cold tea in the morning. And I, I still do do it now. It's a bit weird, but yeah, save, save your brew. Save it till the morning. Lovely cold brew. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Oh, yuck. It was funny though, that then, because... Uh, Nat uh, Emily announced she turns the mics off in between when we've got video playing so she said the mics were off and then she said the mics are back on but Natalie was already savouring her last brew so you might have heard her comments <laughs> saying mmm that's the best bit of my brew it was really the really bottom. Sure it was. <laughs> it was so really you probably sure heard that it was delicious <laughs> 
cold or warm. That's what she she yeah. likes. She likes cold a good warm, brew. It has to have <laughs> two sugars in. <laughs> she likes a good brew. So um, what we're going to do now? We're going to introduce you to these uh, beautiful, beautiful products. Now this is part of our Edit range. You remember we brought these out? Probably. I, well. I want to say maybe the year before last now, probably 2018, was it? Do you reckon? With the butterfly, yeah. wasn't it the butterflies? The butterflies, the first ones? I think the flowers were the oh, first ones. Oh, the flowers. Ones, because the butterflies were apertures. Yes, they so the were. The flowers would have been the first ones. Yes, so yeah. I yeah. Think maybe middle... Yeah, yeah, I while, reckon it would have been 2018. Yeah, because we, um, we, we brought them out and it was like a whole new concept for us. And and they just flew out when we did them on Create Craft. They just, um, you know, sold out crazy. Everybody loved them. So we kept it up, and every few months we bring you another set of our edge dies with the matching stamps. Um, so what we're going to do? We're going to show you first of all the bundle. Now what I'll do? I'll show you the products and then I'll show you the board so it makes a bit more sense. Um, so first of all we have our fabulous A4 stamp set so this is our it's tea time um, stamp set and as you can see it's huge it's A4 it's amazing it's beautiful we've really enjoyed using this haven't oh, we last so week much fun, isn't it? Um, we, we're on a calmer time now in the office it's things are a little bit more chilled so it's meant that we could actually be a bit more relaxed about yeah. colouring and, and, and making. I think if there's a stamp set that really resembles the both of us, it's this. Definitely. We, we, we love, love a bit of tea and we, and we love, love a bit of cake. cake. <laughs> and we like a biscuit and we like stamping. So obviously you could put us in Perfect. a room with some tea and cake, set of stamps, probably for a month and we'd be fine. We'd, we'd be, be fine. absolutely fine. We would come out larger, but we would be happy. <laughs> um, so as you can see on here, big set of stamps and they're beautiful stamps. We've got lots of cake on here. We've got two tea we've got flowers on here we've got biscuits we've got beautiful sentiments butterflies flowers and then in the middle there that lovely black stamp that oh, stamp so does pretty. it stamp beautifully I'm so excited i'm going to use this in a second oh, demo it's gosh. so delicious isn't it it's so lovely if we turn this over it gives you a little bit more of an idea um with the color put on there so you can color them with whatever you like whether you've got our prism watercolor pencils our brush markers our craft markers even your inks you can use your inks and dilute your inks and use those you might want to put some glitter on beautiful beautiful uh, images here and so enjoyable to color as you can see on the the back gives you a bit of inspiration if you're not sure where to start um but beautiful beautiful stamps in there but not only that we have got the die to go with it so this is what brings all that edge kit together so what we have are the dies which actually cut out the edge section of the images you've just seen on stamps or they actually cut it out as a topper um, and they are beautiful they look a little bit when we turn them around like what is that they look a little bit kind of higgledy piggledy or I don't quite understand that. There's nine dies in here, but each of the dies are labelled so you know which die goes with which stamp. So it's really easy. And obviously Natalie will show you that as well when she's demonstrating. But let's show you first of all what they cut. Um, this is $29.99. Now this is amazing because if we show you these together, $29.99 for the whole set. Um, now that is amazing because these are tools dies and stamps are tools so they will last and last and last providing you take care of them um you can use these again and again and again for as long as you're on the earth um you know look after them they'll look after you and that means you can use them 100 000 times how many times you like so let's show you first of all the boards so you can do something really simple with them like this. So the idea is that you stamp, um, these are on six by six cards. Um, so you can stamp the image, your chosen image, down the edge here, or you can put it just wherever you want on the card. You might want it further back. But the die then allows you to cut out that edge, um, which is where we get the word edge it from. So you can see how they work. Now they are beautiful. Um, what you can do as well, if I show you this first, this is the stamping board. So this gives you a nice uh, indication of the how clear they stamp. Um, and I just love that one in the middle, that black one. You could use it, it's very lacy, so you could use that even as a flower, you could use it as a corny, chop into it stamp it a few times and it stamps and heat embosses beautiful on parchment and vellum so try that 
Um, and then if we go onto our next board here, so this will show you um, if you use the second die that comes in the set, you can cut any of these large stamps out as a topper. Mm -hmm. And I love this because these are really big, aren't they? Really, really big. These are really big. And I um, like to colour big stamps. Um, I, I really like to be able to get some colour in there and a little bit of shade in it. Um, I prefer. I, I always prefer a big stamp over a small stamp. But these are beautiful, and we have had so much fun using these. Um, they're really, really lovely. So remember, twenty nine ninety nine. It's almost like multifunction, isn't it? Yeah. So you can do an edge, or you can do. Um, you know, you could do it. You can actually do it like a gatefold, can't you? Yeah, you could do a gatefold. That would be really fun because yeah. you can obviously you've got the right side and the left side, so you yes. can have you can have the two that meet together or just off so it looks like it's more of a dimensional scene. Yes, um, yeah. You can do sort of really fancy apertures if you want to, yeah. which is something that we did on Creating Craft. Yeah. Um, so there's loads and loads of scope. You just have to um, be quite creative in your thinking. Yeah. Um, but there's so many uses for them as well, not just in card making. Um, we've made some really nice gift ideas. Yes, um, we have. Sheila made a really nice invitation, um, sort of, it had like, the invitations in the middle, didn't it? But yes. it was folded up yeah. um, like a notelet set. It was really, really beautiful, um, which I'm sure we'll show you later on. But there's so many uses for for these stamps. Yeah. Um, and who doesn't love tea and cake? These are going to last you forever. They really are. I think these are really good because you can, as you said, you can use them for all occasions. You could, I know lots of people. I know someone, uh, one of the guests that was at Create and Craft. I don't know if she's there now, but she actually had a tea party for her wedding. Yeah. Um, and they had, I think she crocheted lots of doilies and things to put on the table. Aww. And they had like China teacups and things. I know another lady that was doing something for like the Macmillan um, yeah. tea parties where they were having like a strawberry tea and she got lots of different charity shop cups and and did her own invitations and this is what um, that is good for yeah. I think you can you know you can use this for Mother's Day you can use it for for Easter Mother's Day, birthdays. you know anything yeah definitely thank you so much definitely get one well occasion soon. you can't use this for. absolutely um so it's a beautiful beautiful set 29.99 which will um give you the giant stamp set and the uh dies as well to go with them um so if you would like now a little bit of inspiration we are going to go over to natalie and she's going to create something beautiful with this set okay <laughs> Okay, so my first demo, I'm going to show you how to do the simple edge it um, die. So if you just want to do it on a card um, and cut out the edge, you can do that. I'm going to colour my image in, in my brush markers. And the best cards to stop to do that in is our um, premium watercolour card stock. So that is why I'm starting off with an A4 piece instead of just using a 6x6 ink me. But if you want to colour it in, in other mediums that you can use that on, um, then you can just take your 6x6 six six and do this straight away. But we're going to make our card blank um, because I want to make sure I'm using the correct card stock. So I've just cut an A4 piece down to 6 inches. And then on my scoreboard, because I know that this isn't 12, so it's not going to make a full 6x6, six six, but that's okay. It just means that my edge is going to be slightly more in the centre of my card. So then we're just going to score it at 6. And we have our card blank ready to go. Then I'm using my stamping press because, as you know, these are really large stamps. So to get the best image, um, and it, you know, because they're large, sometimes they miss out. But if you use your stamping block, your stamping press, you're going to you're going to make it's going to make sure that that image is perfect when we stamp it. So. Let's just move one of these up here now and move this one more central so my paper stays nice and flat. I'm just going to put that, making sure that the cake um, is sort of sitting flat on the edge. And then the teapot will just, just touch the top bit there. We'll put our lid on top and take that off. And I'm going to use VersaFine to stamp with. You love VersaFine, don't you? Oh, yeah. I do. I've always used VersaFine for 
oh gosh, I must have used it for 15, 20 years. <laughs> I just love it. Just gives you the most crisp, clean, stamped image. It's really nice. So. I love the way it's really jet black as well. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Really yeah. deep. First time as well, there's never sort of any... Um, sometimes, obviously, if the stamp misses, you need to add some more on, but normally it's really, really nice. So we have our image stamped onto our card block now, and then we just need to get the correct die to cut this out. So I'll show you how simple it is to line up. If we move this closer, you can see that each die is labelled, like Sheila said, to which side. Um, so it either says teacups right, teacups left, or it says cake left, cake right. And then on the inside, we actually have the full instructions for you to see there. So you can see how the different steps of how to step it um, and the edges that you will need to cut it out and what it will look like as a topper or um, as an edge, which I think is really useful for you too. So we want to take the teapot right edge and I'm just going to take a little bit of tape and line this up on here. So don't worry if it's starting to look like it's going to come off the edge of the card blank because the die actually does need to be quite on the edge of your 6x6 for it to then sort of meet up with the edges of your of the card blank. So now we're going to put this through. I wanted to get was just let's use this. I've got a spare piece of cardstock that I can just put through on this because I don't want my mats to get any ink on them. Good idea. So we're just going to put a piece of cardstock in. You can use paper if you want to, you can use tissue if you want to, or blue roll. If you just use a scrap of cardstock and then you can keep flipping it around where the image is or isn't. So then we can take our die away from our card. And once we've taken this bit off, you can see how beautiful that edge is cut and you've got a really nice clean finish. When we just fold this over now, you've got that card blank ready to go and you can see how wonderful that is. So we're going to decorate this up now. What I want to do is use one of the stamps that are going to show in this next section to put Ooh. behind here. So this is one of our stamps that we have to go with this collection. This is the delightful doily stamp and it is really really fun. The, it comes in two sections like this but you can tile this as you can see here we've started to do. So this originally was a piece of six by six cardstock and this is the best way to do this um, but I have cut it down because I was doing it for creating craft and I needed to make sure it was sort of ready to go but if this is a piece of six by six when you're doing it and you place your cardstock down on the line so it's in line with your grid on that zero zero mark and we place our stamp onto this piece of cardstock. Then when you stamp this, all you have to do then is rotate this cardstock each time, re-ink and re-stamp it, and you'll get this full doily and it will be um, it will be aligned with each other because you're not moving the stamp at all, you're just moving the cardstock. But I think that's one of the great things about the um, markings on this mm. stamping press is that you can use it to your advantage to be able to line up your images really well. So it I have really already nice. done three of these so we're just doing this last one. Looks really nice in the blue as well it reminds me of like the spode um, tea sets where everything was like white with blue yes. painting on it's really really uh, it looks what, really nice. This is what I had in mind for this so um, if you were going to do it again, and this, if this was a clean piece of cardstock, you would literally just rotate it each time, stamp it down, and because you've got your stamp already in place and it's lining up with these markings, it will give you that full doily that you can see here, which 
um, it's just stunning and there's two different designs one's a bit thicker um, than the other and then I'm just going to I have already cut this down so I just cut off um, an eighth of an inch off all four edges just to give me um, a little bit of a, a mat for when I put this onto the centre of my card so just add in really really lightly this blue I don't think I told you what colour this is actually it's our periwinkle from our shimmer ink pads so it's a really nice blue and it just gives you that luxurious shimmery feel um, with your stamps which I think is really nice too it's very pretty Heather says that her sister is a cake maker so whenever it's anybody's birthday um, her sister makes the cakes and she makes the cards so this would be oh, perfect for them wouldn't it um, and then Shelley says oh my goodness I've just seen the other stamps in the collection so she's obviously uh, looking ahead having a look ahead oh, and the stamps are amazing aren't they the other stamps that come with this and Donna is loving the doily that you've just done it is um, so they're just amazing all the stamps that you get in this collection so we've got our image ready to stick into the middle and we're just going to move on ahead of a step because I have got one here that I have um, started to colour in just nice. for um, speediness but I'm going to stick this um, nice and centrally into my card blank here oh, there we go so you can see now where that blue edge really shines through because it's lifting um, that panel off the card, card blank and then we have our image here I just want to add a sentiment to the front so I'm going to stick my stamp and press down and I'm going to use the stamp that says relax it's your special day so let's get this ready to go and then we can use our brush markers um, to colour the rest of this in so again I'm going to use my Versafine my sentiment it just gives a beautiful um, clean stamped image it's great for sentiments versifying I'm just gonna add a bit more into that put that back in place because you have that freedom with this stamping press and then we can color in the rest of our flowers so we've just got the flowers on the bottom the cake, um, so I want um, a yellow first of all, let's get this really bright yellow and all I've done here is just coloured in the centre of my flowers because then when we bring in our water brush we can just push out that colour um, to, onto the petals and it gives you that um, really beautiful washed look and I think with flowers especially with these ones they are normally quite white yeah you just have that little bit of color I like the um, you know I was just thinking about this as well thinking it might be nice to do for a new home card because if you knew someone's um, yeah. like dining room decor or the color of their kitchen you could send this couldn't you for new home and do it in the colors of their the kitchen I think that would look lovely you know what else as well Sheila oh. in stamping each one as a topper and then making them into frames to go in your kitchen <gasps> oh that would look cute that would be really nice my kitchen is quite bare it does need painting and it does need some artwork on the walls so that's a really nice idea there you go I've got you now okay stamping away making yourself some pretty frames <laughs> um we're gonna do some We've coloured in the um, strawberry on the top of there. I'm just doing some nice pink icing. Oh. And then I think, um, actually, let's do the pink again, but we'll do it darker this time. So I'm just going to do it around the bottom edges where that colour would sort of sit more. And then we'll push the pink upwards. Have you actually done any decoupage with any of these, Natalie? Um, I haven't, but they do look really good because a lot of the samples that came in from the design team had some fantastic decoupage on okay. them. Okay. It looked amazing. Um, and then you have the little doily underneath here. I'm just going to do this in a nice, um, this golden colour. And we'll drag 
it's so pretty this color out too but there's so many if you want this is a little bit plain now on the front but if you wanted to jazz it up a little bit you've got these um these sort of borders that you could add to the top and the bottom yeah like so if you wanted to um but i just love how it all coordinates so well together so you've got the tea set there with the cake i love how you've got the little splashes of well of the tea that you can see and then you've got that beautiful doily image on the inside um, but you could put another piece of um, a circle die cut for mm. your sentiment or for your um, text to go on to or you could use the back to write your message but i just love I just love the effect that you get I with love them. that. That's really nice. I love the way you've put the doily behind as well. It just makes it really nice. Um, just thinking about that as well, uh, every time you show things that you're doing and I see different things in the stamps, so thinking if anybody, um, you know, sells tea or makes cakes that they sell and things like that, you could actually use that doily um, stamp, couldn't you? You could stamp it, cut it in, like not cut it in half, fold it in half across the halfway mark and then use that as like the topper for a bag yeah that's mean and even stamp your own logo on there or something so there's and then i was thinking I like could that. you decoupage that and then also could you um stamp it and stamp it four times score it in half and then join them together and make like a big decoration yeah. with it so you could do there's yeah. lots of things you can do with it isn't there Absolutely. as you sit and look at it and these are the things that when i was working on it i didn't actually think about it because um we we're doing uh, making projects for natalie's show so it's only when i'm stood here now and natalie is stamping it and doing it bit by bit and thinking Actually, oh my goodness you, you could do, do that you could do that with that so there's lots of um lovely things that you can do and that card that natalie's just done is beautiful and is um a great source of inspiration for once you get these home so, but you will notice um, that Natalie did actually use that beautiful um, doily there and it's cleverly done because it's a little corner stamp and with the two different designs on there. Um, we're going to show you those now. So these are what we call our upsells and these are products, when we say upsells, these are products that will go with the kits that we are selling um, and sometimes people like to just get the upsells sometimes people like to get one of them or all of them so we're going to show you those now we have three sets of the um, upsell stamps for you so the first one we're going to show you is a delightful doilies um, now this is the one that Natalie has just used and you can see she's used that beautiful corner it's the top corner you've used isn't it natalie yeah. for that doily but we have one at the bottom as well that's a little bit more bold so this one here gives you like a deeper um kind of image whereas the top one is a little bit more subtle and a little bit more lacy and then you've got these borders down the side as well so you've got two different borders um, and you can elongate these as well if you wanted to do them all the, around the edge of your card. This one on its own is £8, but we do have a great deal for all three of them, which we'll show you in a minute. The sentiment in here is, have a beautiful day. I really like that. Um, I love the way the, the fonts are slightly different, and I love the way beautiful is in like a bold my bold print um so this is a beautiful one and this is delightful doilies you can get that on its own for eight pound or you can get all three for the price of two we'll show you the other two two now and then you've got the choice so the second one is the biscuit barrel now this one is just full of our favorite biscuits yeah um we've got bourbon on here we've got digestive we've got some chocolate biscuits we've got I what think, is your favorite biscuit mm, do you know what I re i'm a bit of a devil for a jammy dodger Okay. I always have been. Um, Jammy Dodger and morning coffee because they're just flat, thin and plain. I could I eat... I love a rich tea, you oh, know. A rich I can't, tea. Can't, I can't enjoy them as much as I used to be able to. No, of um, course. And also, just putting it out there, the packet size of gluten-free biscuits compared to regular biscuits is ridiculous. Yes. I get about 30 in a normal packet. Yeah. I get 10 in a gluten-free packet. And I'm it's, eating them in two minutes. Yeah, and isn't it like three times the price or something, oh, isn't it? yeah. So I you're... Um, like three. Two pound for nine bourbons the other day yeah you're an expensive one to feed aren't you really? very expensive <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know you gotta do it if it's your health that matters and i'm sure some of you are gluten free and i can see that there are i love it when we go on here and everyone shares their health issues and, the, and it's even though we're crafters we're actually talking to each other and going oh yeah i had that don't worry about it it just go away and stuff like that so it's, we're really helpful with each other on here and it's interesting to see um who does have food intolerances and it's all part of life now isn't it yes. uh, but back to our beautiful biscuits um <laughs> we do have some uh, kind of creamy biscuits on here we have some chocolate ones it's just basically a whole stamp full of biscuits and you can again with this you can cut some out and decoupage them we've done some quite interesting things with the biscuits which we'll show you um once we've done a second demo um just to give you an idea of what you can do with them uh how you can color them they look great if you stamp them onto craft card because biscuits tend yeah. to be kind of that color don't they yeah um so you can do some fun things with them um but that is the uh, biscuit barrel uh, stamp set and then our third one that's part of this range is the you're invited oh. now obviously we've got biscuits we've got cakes we've got teapots and cups you have to have something that invites people to uh something where you can share those delightful things so we have this stamp set now i think this is one of my most um favorites I that we've this. done recently i love this it's so useful as you can see on there we've got some really really great um not necessarily sentiments but occasions that you might be having um tea and biscuits at. parties yeah definitely parties so we've got um we've got joiners we've got you're invited and then we've got tea party and then we've got other words separate words like an invitation we've got a for the of my to on we've got also rsvp from our date very special venue details and time well, there's everything on there isn't there absolutely so you can be missing. making if you're someone that makes wedding invitations, christening invitations, um, you know, birthday party invitations, baby shower engagement, christening, civil ceremony, we've got everything on here. So we've got birthday, wedding, celebration, christening, party, anniversary, baby shower, engagement, civil ceremony, and celebrate. And so you can do some really lovely bespoke invitations and all the fonts vary as well so it means they look really good you do make and sell um your invitations and do stationery for all kinds of things this is going to be the perfect one for you uh, and they're on a three for two so you could get all three of these for 16 pound rather than 24 pounds so that's a really good deal or you can just get the single ones entirely up to you if i show you the boards here we've got them all stamped out um so that you can see how they um how they actually look let's put that board down we can keep it still for you so you've got the biscuit barrel um you've also got the you're invited and the delightful doilies so it gives you a good indication as to how they stamp um and what you can be creating with these i just love these um i really had a ball using the um you're invited set um, so we're going to go over to Natalie now for another demonstration. She's going to show us something else that we can be making with the items from this collection. I'm going to use that um, that invite your invited stamp. We're going to make Ooh. a little invitation um, for you. So what I've done is I've already stamped my image. We've stamped this with um, Memento onto our Mactastic. Um, and this colour is Magnolia. And you can see I've just started colouring while Sheila was just showing you through them because... Um, it can take a little while. So I've got, um, I've coloured in my flowers. I've used, um, for the main colour, I've used 557, and then I've used the 499, which I think is a hot pink, um, just to create accents. And then you've got these beautiful little dots on here that I'm just adding that bright pink to, just to bring out um, the colour of this image. So I'm just going along here just colouring those bits in and then I think we're going to do this in a nice pink as well so let's do the outside edge in the hot pink so it all matches nicely so this little frill um, is in the hot pink there and then what we can do because I don't want it to be too bright um, is if I just add a little bit more colour onto the edges here it's kind of like a dotty edge, so I'm following that. 
And then, if I can find it, because it's just tucked away in here, I want my blending pen, which comes in our um, pastels. And then what I'm going to do is just drag out that hot pink. Drag it out using that blending pen onto the little napkin we've got here. To just make those edges sort of fit in. But I think because you're doing it on like the um, this colour anyway, it kind of fits in really nicely. Definitely. So I just need to colour in my daisies. So now you're using the um, the craft markers, aren't you? Yes, using the craft yeah. markers to do this. Um, so it gives you a totally different effect from before because it's quite um, the colours are very strong. Yes. Um, that you're gonna get with this. Which are your favourites? Do you like the craft markers best or the brush markers? Um, can you not say? The craft markers, I think. Yeah, you've... Um, I love the craft markers, but I am starting to get more into using the um, the brush markers now. Yeah, I mean, you can get a little bit of shading, can't you, with the brush markers, in, in that you can go over them a little bit, certain areas, and it will give you that shadowy effect. Yeah. Um, but they, but you, like you say, you get a totally different look with totally um, different. with these as well. And it depends on how much you like your colour or your shading, or whether you like blending with these pens. Or because I think with the alcohol markers, you put them onto card, don't you? And you, know, you go away for a minute. When you come back, it's all soaked in, and it's yeah. kind of then it goes like really smooth. And um, whereas with the, the brush markers, you you get that more kind of. Not Smoke. patchy, but more watercolour effect, yeah. so it's a little less um, perfect almost. It really depends on kind of the look that you're going for, isn't it? Yeah. But um, I do like this, and I like using them on Mattastic because you just have to add little bits of colour. You don't have to um, colour in the whole thing, which also helps with like timings yeah. um, for stuff like that. I need to colour in my biscuits before we forget. Definitely. Um, just using this outside edge to make sure that I'm using sort of the right colours. I think we need more of a, um, should have got the whole box out actually. <laughs> so I think I've just dropped the actual colours that I needed. Oh, you've got mm. them there. We need, I need a brown. Let's try this one. That's better. I wanted to make it look like a, a thingy crunch. So we needed that sort of yellowy brown colour. Oh, okay. A cream crunch. Yes. Oh, sounds nice. Go. A cream crunch. So I've got, um, I'm using 537 for this, which is actually um, the best colour for skin tones. Yeah. Um, this colour. Um, so I've gone, uh, I've gone over once and then I'm just going to go on, just using the same colour, just go over um, the edges slightly. And then I'll use 402, which is a really light yellow, um, to just go in the middle of those to create that lovely creamy colour and then if I just pop all of these out of the way to one side I'm going to get my dye that I need which is I've already done one half as you can see here um, so we need to do the left hand side so cups, tea cups left hand side I get my tape again um, da -da -da. and run this through has anyone else said what their favourite biscuits are, Sheila? Oh my goodness, I'm just reading this. We've got all kinds of things coming up. We've got fig biscuits, we've got hobnobs, we've got Ooh, chocolate digestives, um, we've got bourbons dipped in tea. Um, what else have we got? I know custard creams and hobnobs. Um, one lady said, um, she was just, it was Julie, said she, she loved jammy dodgers and she was just having one with the tea now. Oh. Um, and Margaret says gluten-free biscuits are too sweet for her, so she makes her own. Oh, that's a good idea. That's nice. Um, let's see. Malted milk, a chaos. Malted milk is one of my favourites. Um, uh, McVitie's digestive crumbled on vanilla ice cream. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like doing that. so delicious. Um, Andrea says she loves these and she put in an order yesterday of well over a hundred pounds. There were some big orders going in yesterday. I yeah. remember hearing while we were um, in the office some big orders over the phone yesterday. It was, it was very 
nice to hear that everyone was getting all their goodies. Yeah, so definitely. we've got this out now, and you can see that that is your topper. That's perfect. And then I've got a piece of um, seven by seven, I think. Let's double check. Seven by seven, and this is on rosewood matastic. And what I'm going to do is I've got my inverted corner punch, and I'm just going to just add a little bit more class. Nice. Make it a bit fancy. We've done that fancy. with um, <laughs> our corners. And then I've got this piece, which is um, six and a half. So this is going to give us a nice edge. And again, I'm going to, oh, we got stuck. It does get stuck, this one, doesn't it, sometimes? Because it's got that bottom bit on that catches all your pieces. Yes, yeah. So then we're going to do that with the bottom as well. So you've got that nice edge on here. Then I've used my retro waves frame. And I've done the same. I've cut a large one out of the pink and the middle one that's what we're going to stamp our invitation bits onto but first off I want to do a little decorating on this background so I'm going to take my acrylic block and I'm using that beautiful flourish that me and Sheila were talking about before and I'm going to use the dusky pink um, from our um, this is our shimmer inks range I'm just going to add the color to this and then we're just going to stamp this in the background and it's going to create a lovely sort of flourish that's going to run along make sure and I've make sure I've got enough on here actually it's really nice isn't it it's so beautiful that stamp and I think you know what even if when you because I've just missed a little bit here but even when you do just miss off a bit it really it doesn't it adds a little bit more of a rustic feel and it, it looks yeah. really good actually. I think it does. And you know, I stamped it last week in black um, and I used my stamp press and then I, I took it off there and then realized there was a tiny fraction that I'd missed. So I just um, filled in, because it's lace and it's got like the little tiny threads, yeah. thread lines. I just filled it in with the um, fine tip of my brush marker. Mm -hmm. And you know, you couldn't tell because like you say, it's a little bit more, rustic and not totally like perfect no nope. that it doesn't matter it just adds to that and it that looks so lovely on the screen there okay so one more i'm gonna put one more here what color did you say that ink was dusky Nestle? pink dusky pink and that's in the shimmer inks isn't it it is yeah and then so let's nice. do another bit i might be able to use the ink that we've got left over on this side <laughs> just to do this bit here Okay, so that's my background ready to go. Um, let's just clear up the ink that we've got here because I don't want it going everywhere. So we'll move that to one side and that's going to go um, on top of our piece there. Now we need our invitation. So to do this I'm going to take my acrylic box again and you, d you could do with lots of these. We did do this on our stamping press and I tried it a number of times but when you line them up on your stamping press um, you actually get really large spacings and you don't necessarily want that. Um, you want everything to be quite um, joined together. Put that on the other side. So for this I'm using um, acrylic blocks because you can um, stamp them all individually. You could do it on your stamping press to be honest. Um, but with your blocks it's just easier to lift them off. So I'm going to put, you're invited. Pop that off, and then we're going to put two. You're invited. Where's two? Two. We don't have celebrate, do we? Oh, we do. To celebrate. Yeah. So let's do celebrate first. And that'll fit on our smaller block. You're invited. And then it just means that you can put your words where you want them to be. So you can have as much space in or as little space in as you want yeah so we've got you're invited to celebrate and then the best thing about this is that we've got um, these lines so if you're making these for some um, you're making them to sell them let's just use my thing here to make sure this line is straight you can sell these with these lines on and then whoever is buying them can then put their own names in which I think is really nice yeah definitely. so you're invited to celebrate let's say we're going to put a name in there and then we're going to put, um, what should we use? Let's use engagement. I'd make these for my engagement for sure. 
Definitely. Tea parties are the best type of parties, aren't they? And you know, this is so nice because I remember doing wedding stationery um, quite a long time ago for a friend of ours who was getting married and seeing some of my handmade cards that I was selling and, and said, would you do our stationery? So I did all the like wedding favour boxes and everything like that. And um, as you know, I'm not great at a computer and I much prefer to stamp out these individually. I think there were about 120 um, invitations required for the daytime. And then I did some night ones as well. I did all the RSVP and, you, and did, then did the thank you um you know cards as well and everything all in yeah. i think it was red and cream and gold and i just totally enjoyed stamping out everything like this because you know i didn't have the skills to do it on a computer mm -hmm. and i'm a crafter at heart so obviously I, I prefer to do it like this it took forever but i absolutely loved doing them i boxed them all up I remember, I think he lived up in Preston somewhere, and he actually took them to his house in the box. I made all the box lovely and everything, it's and it was, uh, it was so rewarding to do that. And you know, it makes you just sit and relax and do it with the stamps because if you're doing it on the computer and you, you know, you mess up something or um, you know the Wi-Fi goes down or whatever, you, yeah. you forget to save something. That's too stressful for me. So I really just loved doing it in this way. And I think it totally looks really looks handmade really as well, cool. doesn't it? Really, really cool. So I'm just gonna get my um, N1, which is the color that I use to um, do the outlines on here. And I'm gonna use the thicker chisel end just to go around the outside. Cause it's Ooh. gonna, just because it's really light, it's just gonna add another sort of, um, colour to the edge and then we can go over this with um, our blending tool if it's a bit too dark for you you can just relieve some of that colour. Um, so that's um, kind of, I don't know, that's made it quite um, almost like... It makes it's, it look a bit more different doesn't it? Yeah. It makes it stand out as well. It looks uh, like um, older as well. Yes, like a little more, bit vintagey. Yeah. And I think that's perfect with these stamps, isn't it? Because they yeah. are, it is quite vintagey yeah. as a whole. So I'm just going to stick this onto my pink one now, which we made earlier on. Make sure that that is all central. And then this is going to go on foam pads because it's important. So you want it to stand out. So let's pop this down. This is lovely. Uh, do you know what it reminds me of? And it's given me a really nice feeling. When we were little, um, my dad was in a brass band, so he used to do lots of uh, band contests um, all over the, the country. And he, he actually had like a printing press in the bedroom. Oh my gosh. No. Or it, honestly, I can't tell you. Um, I can remember the noise it used to make, right? It was a really That's big- so cool. Yeah, really big old fashioned black thing under the like under in front of the window and what it had was um it had like a big round plate as i remember and the round plate used to move back and forth and then there was like a big you know when you emulsion a room and you use a roller yeah it had a roller and the roller used to roll ink on the plate okay uh, back and forth back and forth and it used to print the tickets and my dad had to put like the letters in oh. a bit like the old style kiddies um post office sets yeah so you used to have to put the, the the letters in for with the time and everything like you've done there and then he had there was something on the printer that actually used to gild around the edge of the shape of the band ticket that's so cool so it would do it in like gold and that's that has just reminded me what you've done there exactly of that and it gave me that whole memories feeling of that printing press going and my dad printing out the band tickets um and i just i just love what you've done there it just gave Isn't me a really so warm glow when you make stuff yeah. and it like evokes such lovely like images and yeah. thoughts from like past things it's yeah. a really lovely it's a really lovely thing and i think um it's something that you get quite often in crafting you know definitely definitely just using sometimes using like um <laughs> A, a Versa Mark ink or, a, or an embossing ink, like one of our Prism embossing inks, which we, which we have now, around the edge of the of the invitation you've done there, and then put an embossing powder on, and just kind of like gilding it around the edge. It it's just lovely, lovely. You could definitely do that with your gilding flakes. Just add a definitely. little bit more to this, make it 
um, a little bit more special. Oh, this is lovely, Natalie. I was it's... looking for strips, but I couldn't find them. So we've gone for um, we've gone for these ones, and I'm just cu cutting them um, in half so they're thinner because we've already where I'm sticking it, we already have foam pads, and if I just put one on and then stuck it down, it would be out of place. So we're going to stick it over here, and then what I need to do is just budge that over a little bit because it's poking through. And then if I trim this into two and just put these on this little edge bit where it's going to sit on top of my invite and then we can just put this on the corner like so so it sticks up there my venue is wonky I'm gonna have to own up to that I didn't do that very straight but then you could fit these into seven by seven envelopes um, and oh. give them away. It could be for any occasion. We've got engagement here. We've got civil ceremony, which I think is really lovely addition, baby shower, anniversary, christening, um, wedding day. There are so many different occasions that you can make these for. Um, but I just think it's so much fun. That is that is so lovely, Natalie. That is one of the nicest things I've, I have seen you make and it's given me a really lovely warm feeling it's, in my heart. It's and so, it's I don't just know so why. cute it's and just, just so nice. lovely. It's you get so your dies in there. We've got so many fun shaped dies that work with yeah. this as well. Yeah. Um, those ones that have got those really cool sort of retro edges or the fancy labels, they work perfectly to have your wording on. So um, get all your dies out and have a look and get fun. Get Have some fun making some fun stuff, people. Definitely. This, this Make some fun absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. I think this case this kit could give you um you know a real push into something if you've always wanted to make invitations there's lots of our lovely viewers commenting saying they're going to make some invitations and invite everyone around for for tea or a tea party How with these once covid is over in and we spring. can all get back together hopefully in the spring everyone will be Hasta la vista, COVID. yeah absolutely hopefully by with the time we get to april or may we start getting into early summer next year people will be putting the gazebos up in the gardens and they'll be celebrating they're having tea parties and i think this is the perfect thing it's just come at the right time um, and everyone is saying how lovely it is and how beautiful your projects are so thank you natalie what we're going to do now we're going to show you just a few of our um beautiful makes that some of the team have done because we've got little cars we've got big cars we've got um, cake boxes we've got gift ideas so we're going to show you a few of these now and then Natalie's going to do us another little demo before um, we finish so let's show you let's go in kind of let's go in size order here so we've done some really really like tiny ones some really um, simple ones and this was just done with the leftovers that um, I had from one of my um, things I've been making so again tiny little um, cars like that um, Kat from our design team has done this on our beautiful, I think she's done this on our denim um, adorable scoreboard, oh, matastic with that exact same stamp that Natalie's just used. But the difference is remarkable because this is so, so good, kind of it? now and then Natalie's was more vintage. And it's this is a good thing about stamps and dies. You can create these um, lovely, lovely um, invites and cards which almost take you into different eras. Again, I saw you make this on uh, Create and Craft, Natalie. I loved the simplicity of it. I loved the way you brought in the, the glimmer mist down the edge here, which have given that lovely mica glow on there. It was a really quick card, actually, and it just shows how quick you can make cards and do some beautiful. You know, everyone forgets. I'm the worst person for forgetting birthdays, but you can do it really fast. Did you make this one as well or I not? I did. We did that one um, in the second hour. Yes. Um, so and it's just a different... A different party a different i've used sort of the same stamp um, but i've used different dyes i've used a different background stamp so you can see how you can do different things with it definitely and i like the way you've done this it's almost like rather than being a card it's like a big ticket yes isn't it so it's you know it's like a traditional old style invitation where you just get it on a like a postcard almost it's so lovely and then we were talking about decoupaging so um rachel in our design team this has actually beautiful. decoupaged these look at that so you can see on the teacups there she's done two or three layers and got that lovely dimension on there and um, it makes you want to go in and actually lift up the teacup and mm -hmm. and have a drink from it and then we've used it as um an edge die on the next couple here so again using the sentiment as the background um and using the lovely cake on there and if i show you this one too two different ones totally but the colors make it so much 
uh, different in style. And again, we've got the acetate front on there. So it's really, really lovely. Then as we like here, stamping it onto craft card, as we said, with a little bit of vellum or parchment. Um, so lovely. Also using um, the cup separately. So stamp the top cup three times. Use the uh, border stamp here as like a lacy tablecloth. Um, so you can do that as well. And then another beautiful one here done by Rachel. Again with the butterflies on there and um, lots of beautiful colours. Another one done here using embossing powder. Oh, wow. So stamping and heat embossing. Um, those uh, teapots and the sentiments and then using it as a topper sticking it on the front and again as, as Natalie's just done using the nesting dies and keeping the biscuits black and white and doing colour on the background but let me show you some of these beautiful um, gifts and I know that Natalie made the majority of these but this is Natalie's beautiful cake box let me pop this out of the way so look at this what better way than receiving a cake. This is so Hello. lovely, isn't I it? Look at that. So you can see what's in there before you open yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. What a great gift idea. Um, it's so lovely. And look, this is just done on our A3 yeah, ink me, is it? Me. Um, Perfect. I think the measurements are in the most recent Crafting with Hungry Dory magazine. So oh, okay. You, you, there's measurements in there as well for how to make okay. that Okay. Perfect. So if you want to make something like that, you can look in the magazine. This was another one that I watched Natalie make live on uh, Create Craft using the Adorable Scorable. Again, really simple idea. Can I undo this, Natalie, yeah. so everyone can see what's inside? I was loving you uh, watching you make this. I'm not going to totally pull the ribbon out, but as you can see, Natalie has put shortbread biscuits in, a little tea strainer, some tea, some loose leaf tea. Um, again, it's just so lovely. Who wouldn't want to... Um, make something like that and give it away. Oh, I think it's silver. such a lovely little gift as well. Definitely. Like it's such a really nice gift idea. Because Absolutely. Obviously, it's this Christmas is going to be different, completely different from others. And yeah. Having something that is handmade and, you know, everyone loves tea. Yeah. So it's you can just put their favourite tea in there, their favourite biscuits. Um, and it's such a lovely way to make these and, and give them to someone or not even Definitely. just for Christmas just to brighten someone's day yeah I mean if send you, them a gift of happiness absolutely if you went into Marks or Boots or somewhere like that you would be paying quite a lot of money for something yes. like this that is gift packaged um in this way I agree. um so you you know get doing it get your adorable scoreboard get using get all that lovely it. adorable scoreboard that you've bought um, and use them in, a, in a, another way like this. Again, using the same stamp, but this time again using Ink Me cardstock. And I think this was A4 Ink Me. Um, making like a little wallet so you can put invitations in. We've got invitations so in here. Fix. And uh, again, made with the biscuit um, stamp. So again, just stamp it, colour it. Um, you, you know, can, you can make and sell these for people to be able to send out. Definitely. Um, for their parties after next summer, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. And, and these are nice for like little weddings. And again, stamp your flowers. You know, I love doing this with like I gems and stuff. Put the little stamps on the end. You've got the dies that cut these out as well. So your pansy, your, um, what is the other flower? Um, we weren't sure oh, if it was. Yeah, we Googled it, didn't we? Uh, were we, we, were we thinking it was this. an. An, um, an, an anemone. anemone or an anemone. An um, it's one I can't of those say ones. it. It's one of neither them. Neither of us can say yeah, it. Yeah, neither of us can those. say it. We were trying to remember it as, weren't we saying anemone? Because we remembered money. Yeah. And then the other anemone. one is an anemone. An anemone. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> one of them you, is you, under the sea. One of yeah. them is under the Yeah, one's, a flower, <laughs> one's under the sea. You know what I mean, people? I can't say it, though. There was once, actually, a footballer in the 70s. And his name, and I could never say this this name, and it was exactly the same. I think his name was Laurie, Laurie McMenemy or McNamenemy. I could never say it, but that's exactly the same thing. There's too many N's and M's in there. Um, but, yeah, you can make something like this. And we have the pansy. The daisy is the other one, isn't it, where there's a die. So you can yes. stamp the daisy and cut that out as well. And then another, did you make this one as well, Natalie? Yeah, so we made this one on Creating Crafts. So it's the same sort of concept, but it's different in size. So this would be more for, like, your biscuits. 
beautiful. Biscuits, beautiful. So it's a bit smaller and you've got that on, image on top of the box it's instead of. So um, lovely. It's honestly, if you are a cake maker and you want to do your own packaging, this is the kit for you. This is what gets me excited. Um, I think we have there now, I think that's all our little samples. Well, we're going to show, um, no, I think we've got them all there. That's what we're going to show you. Um, for today that's all the makes we hope that this has inspired you we're going Definitely. to pop across to natalie again now and she's hopefully going to do something else that's lovely that you might want to make with this beautiful time for tea um collection tea time should i say one little last demo for you so um most of my things are already made here so this should be super quite quick actually um, this is the beauty of using TV demos <laughs> yeah. TV, um, because they're supposed to be done very fast. So what I've done is I've got here two five by sevens, but they're actually tent cards and I've made this from a seven by seven. So seven by seven, just chopped off um, two inches and I've got two of them. Now with the second one, I've laid it out onto my scoreboard this way around. No, this way around. Um, and I've scored it at... Um, I've scored it at nine, just working out my measurements, scoring at nine, folded it across and then I've trimmed the rest of it off. This gives us a stepper which can go on the front of your card. So straight away there, um, and you can do this with any size card blank, so just your, your regular sizes and it's just a really easy way of being able to make different um, card sizes. So we'll stick this on the front like so and we've got our stepper card there ready to go that you can see. Um, it's a bit of an unusual size, five by seven stepper, but um, there was a, a reasoning behind this. Now what I've done is I've stamped my biscuits and oh, this was so much fun to color. It was actually fun and then kind of tedious. Um, <laughs> however, I loved it. So this is gonna go on my background. To be able to make this big enough, we need to layer it up. Now I did speak to Stacy, who obviously designs these stamps with Fantastic Gen, and because they are all muddled up, you wouldn't get a clean sort of progression along the middle. You could stamp it and then add some ribbon, um, but what I've done is I've stamped it twice and I've cut one out, and then this is gonna lay on top. So you've got, I've cut around the biscuits here, so it looks like they are gonna be on top, which is how the biscuits are, and it looks quite seamless. So that is the best way um, that Stacy um, said you would be able to um, sort of layer up and make this for a larger background, which we have done here. And then I've coloured it in using my um, brush markers. Um, so I've stamped it in Versafine and then coloured it in in lots of lovely browns so it looks completely full and absolutely delicious. Can I just say, Natalie, that yeah. looking at that on the iPad here looks like a photograph of biscuits because your colouring is so amazing on there. It actually looks like a photograph of biscuits it's on a table. Quite hungry, if I'm honest. It's it's amazing colouring. <laughs> it's making me very, very hungry. Um, so I'm gonna stick this onto my background and it's a little bit smaller that I think it's um a quarter of an inch smaller, which gives me that nice clean white edge around the outside. Now for Gorgeous. this little panel here, what I want to do is I'm gonna do the same again but I'm gonna decorate this with um, one of the lovely edges that you get on that doily um, frame. And then we're gonna stick some ribbon around it. So let's just use our stamping press um, because if I do this correctly, so this measures um, one and a half inches. So I need to put this, to get it to go the whole way across because we can tile this. I need to put it at just one and a, one and three quarters and then I should be able to flip my cardstock and it should stay oops there's a problem with these magnets they always stick together <laughs> yeah. they're really I'm gonna strong use cinnamon swirl um, which is a nice sort of brownie brownie color which really matches well with the um, biscuits that we've got so just go back in there because I've not done that very well there we go. We've got that image now. And then what I can do is just scoot this along, replace my my stamp. I think that might go off the edge, actually. Maybe I have to put it down here and there. Use my 
stamp again and then that will line up nicely oh it's not tiled it oh, that's irritating but you can see um, how we were going to do that nicely on there and then we can put this ribbon on top but I'm going to twist it I think I was just a little bit out there because then once we've turned it the other way around what we can do is stamp this on here and we'll try and tile this one this time so you can see how lovely it will work where does it need to stop it needs to stop around there so if I can put this on oh, there like good. that I'm feeling the tension now don't feel the tension it's fine we put this on that's here good there is a little gap in the middle but that will be covered with our ribbon I'll stamp that again like so perfect there we go so it does tile and look really nicely um, when you take your time we're going to add our ribbon so I'm just going to put a little bit more tape in the middle here and this can hold our ribbon down so we'll put one bit here and go the whole way around and you can see it doesn't look like it um, wasn't meant to be now and take this bit off this is so relaxing it. Natalie I am just draped over the desk here like <laughs> like you did this to me last week I ended up I was just thinking I was like at home watching TV or something um, and just in my own little world and really enjoying it and then I remembered you know you're at work you need to just be a bit more um, what's the word alert because I'm just really relaxing watching you do this it's so lovely so I've just added some more brown around the edge there just to bring it in um, with the biscuits that we've got in the background then I've got my sentiment which says I love you more than biscuits so I love you more than biscuits as a whole stamp here and then the other one says um, cake is the answer so what I've done is I've used the smaller letters from my invitation stamp to create an and and then I've stamped cake underneath the biscuits so it fits really nicely ah. um, so you can make your own sentiments up here you, they don't have to be um, exactly how you have them on the little sheet so we're going to put our sentiment up on this corner here and then I've got my topper which is going to sit here and that, that will actually hide the little mistake that we made which is perfect um, so then we'll just bring our pens in and add all our beautiful red colours to our strawberries and um, our flowers so I'm just putting my colour down we don't have to get um, super crazy with this colouring again because it is your brush marker so you can drag around that colour and it looks absolutely wonderful so I just need to colour in the tops of my strawberries there Let's add a bit more colour to this one and then use your brush markers your water pens like we did before you could use a paintbrush, you don't need to use these specific types of water pens, you can use whatever you have around. So we'll just lay that down and then you can go in and add more colour to it, like these ones are a bit more pinky. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to do some bright pink ones, like purpley pink flowers I think. I chose um, like a, a chocolate effect on this one um, for my cake. I wanted it to be really scrumptious. Did you say you've used, um, for the biscuits, you've used your craft markers? My brush markers. Oh, your brush markers. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you'd combined the two and I thought this is no. really nice effect. But uh, honestly, I can't stop looking at those biscuits. That Jammy Dodger, um, uh, it's just, they're just like a photograph. It's just like a photograph of biscuits. I'm, I'm absolutely staggered just how done it. amazing just, honestly, coloured just that. Honestly, coloured it in exactly the same way as I've coloured these bits in, just adding colour um, and then just dragging it around. So adding the colour where sort of the light would hit it and then moving the colour out to just fill in the rest. And it just gives you a really quick like shaded 
um, effect. You don't have to um, sit and create that. So this is um, giving us these nice pink, um, light pink flowers now, which I think fits the the cake quite nicely actually with it being chocolate. You don't want it to be too crazy with the colour. It's lovely. Everyone's loving this. I love colouring. I could do this all day. I know, I can tell you like it. They are saying that you've got the patience of a saint to sit and colour all these in like this. Um, it's really, really uh So I've got some glorious. pink flowers now, which if I hold it up you can see them a little bit more because they're quite That's light gorgeous. down there. And then just to give the effect of glass on um, on this thing, what I'm going to do is just put some blue down across the edges of that and then up here on the top and then down the spine of here and then again using my water brush I'll just make that a little bit more less obvious and just pull that colour out into the centre so it gives you that like sort of glass because um, it's not sort of white and opaque is it you do have no. that shadow from from the light on there so we can just drag that all yeah. the way around and then we'll stick that to the front and we are done it's beautiful it's made so. such a difference like you said putting the um the blue on there to just give it that kind of glass effect and stick this oh just on top of here like so and then you could actually probably maybe put that behind some other piece because it will. Do you know why? Because it's that spine bit. I need to just put, if I can just put another little bit of pad mm. behind that, it will actually keep it upright because it's very thin, that piece of card. Yeah, the weight it's of the cake. Moving. But if I, there we go. If Perfect. I just add a bit more under it, Perfect. then it will stand up a bit better so there you go i love you more than cake and biscuits biscuits that's, and cake that's a big that's a big love for whoever gets that isn't it definitely um, it's they are beautiful biscuits it, and cake it's and so beautiful how that will hold up there and you could also put acetate in front of it yeah. and create a dome card <gasps> instead of a stepper oh yeah put your um lovely cake on the front nice. um there's just so much to do. I could be here all day making cards. Maybe we're just leaving you here on your own all day. Yeah, you can just sing colour. See who tunes in. <laughs> Thank you so much for those three it's glorious idea, demos. You know. We could do a, we could do a colour along. A, oh. a colour along. Raise some money. Of course, that would be really nice. We could do, we could do like a twenty-four hour one, couldn't we? We oh, well, split we're, shifts. We're doing. We're putting ourselves in a bad position. Well, we are. We're doing it. We're saying it all publicly uh, as well. <laughs> Um, we hope you enjoyed those demos um, as much as myself and Emily did. I think we were just engrossed there watching <laughs> Natalie yeah. colour work. We were just in a kind of dreamy world. Um, so thank you very much for those beautiful projects. Um, we have a couple of things just to remind you of. Firstly, our Win It Weekly uh, competition. Um, the question, we're going to pop on the screen now just to remind you, how long is New Zealand's 90 mile beach? Is it A 55 miles, B 72 miles or C 100 miles? That will uh, enter you into the competition if you like, share and comment to win our Midnight Botanica Miri Magic collection. Um, we have toppers in here, we have beautiful cardstock as well. And that will be going out to four winners who will announce on Friday. Um, so don't forget, like, share and comment. That will give you a chance to win that. We are also going to add some of our blending tools, our premier craft tools, blending tools, to the rollover box, which is absolutely chocolate. packed solid it is it's chocker as emily says full of fabulous product i keep going and having a look at it on emily on um, ashley's desk it is absolutely ram jam full of um items of loveliness so we're going to pop the blending tools in there our next facebook live show will be here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m um for another dose of our black Friday deals. Uh, we'll be adding more stuff and we'll be showing you and demoing uh, some of those fabulous products that we're going to be uh, throwing onto our website. Um, we would like to thank you for joining us today on our um, lovely 
flight through the sky of craftiness. Um, hunky dory head. Very calm and relaxing. Wasn't it was it? very, very calm and it's relaxing. Quiet. So I thank you. It. Yeah. Thank you for flying with us today and we hope you will be on board again with us soon. Uh, hopefully tomorrow um, we will see you. So it's goodbye from Emily. Bye. Goodbye from Natalie. Goodbye. And goodbye from myself and we will be here again with you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.